Studies have concluded that although verbal communication is important in keeping ourselves grounded, nonverbal actions such as holding hands moves the nerves in our skin to communicate with our core system, which causes mental and physical relief. Yet it appears that we have forgotten the way to reach out or speak out, and there are things we do not talk about lurking inside school buildings, like the sad kids, the kids who do not love themselves, the ones carrying loads heavier than the bags under their eyes and are attempting to reach goals as low as their will to live. The same ones who have never been able to differentiate between fatigue and depression respond that they are only tired when you ask them how they are. Minds too sullen to think of itself as sad. And all they want to do is go back to a time where their only task was to be held. Question one. If Rachel writes three powerful essays in one week while battling crippling depression, how long will it take for her to turn her paper cuts into razor cuts? Ooh. Answer. The time will come too soon and her grades will start falling harder than the tears rolling down her face. She is dealing with a problem that will not be freely discussed by her teachers, if discussed at all. One in five children have or will have serious mental illness. You cannot expect a student to finish an assignment if they cannot begin a thought. We need to provide help that allows them to think outside of themselves. There are things we do not talk about like the kids who are not loved by their parents, the ones who take care of themselves because their caretakers have refused to do their part. And these kids have never felt truly whole, just simply held their own hands and rocked themselves to sleep. The ones who have never felt as if their birth givers truly wanted them to live, not sure if they were the results of a drunken mistake or a broken promise. Question two. If Jacob can do a five-foot high jump and his track and field team at his high school while his parents take a trip to the Bahamas, how hard will his parents cry when he drops out? Follow-up question, will they cry at all? Follow-up, follow-up question, if yes, will they cry for their son's disappointment or their disappointment in their son? Answer, his parents will cry hard enough to convince people that it was not partially their fault. As if they didn't use his workbooks as cup holders and his grades as conversation starters. And the fault is in the life of the parent and teacher partnership. We need to invite positive communication tools to help students, students feel less like fools and more like beings. And we need to plan events that promote parents to prompt growth in their children. Let us show them how to hold their hands again. There are things we do not talk about, like the kids. The kids, the kids, we don't talk about the kids, we don't talk about the kids, we don't talk about the kids. We talk of average attendance and grade point averages, but we don't talk about what the student faces on his way to class or the yes. Tuesday who are attending for a higher grade. We talk of test scores and football games, but we don't talk about the shaking hands that filled in the bubble sheets or the minds attempting to run towards a happiness that seems much farther away than the end zone. There are things we simply do not talk about, and the purpose of this poem is not to express anger or evoke feelings of guilt. This poem is to simply raise awareness. While class time is important, and education can open ways to success, educators must accept that the clock still ticks for students even after the bell rings. It should not come as a shock that students have lives outside of school, whether pleasant or traumatic. The goal is to acknowledge the problems and search for ways to work together and create the best possible learning environment. We cannot choose to forget that the education system is a constitution for the students. The kids are both the question and the answer. Final question. If I make this poem as realistic as possible, while my body shakes at the thought of becoming a teacher, how long will it take for you to reach out and hold my hand?